Thank you, and thank you for the invitation to, to speak here today. Um, just to, if there's anyone in the room who doesn't know who the EIB is, we're a public, publicly held bank owned by the 28 member states. We're located in Luxembourg. We raise our finance on the capital markets, and we were the first issuer of green bonds. Um, um, and also, we've, our green bonds incorporate the, the, the definition of projects. So maybe if, you know, if I jump a lot of the things that I'd prepared for today, I may say, what are the main, the main, the main challenges facing us? The EIB doesn't lend mortgages, so we don't have a pile of you know, green mortgages to put into a bond to sell it on the market. We finance projects. We finance projects that improves the, the lives of citizens in Europe and basically around the planet in, in different areas. We've, we support projects that, uh, for energy efficiency, improving infrastructure, small companies, and innovation. Those key policy areas have aspects of climate action. So how do we, how do we, how do we define this climate action? We have a team of technical people, engineers and economists, who have defined fa fairly, we, oh, I'm on the lending side, first of all, let me make that important, who have defined these criteria, which sometimes we said, well, they're a little bit limited, because what we, what we have been doing since the start of 2017, in particular, is talking with the commercial banks around Europe to see how we can increase the component of eligible climate action projects in the loans that we do with banks. These are called multi-beneficiary loans. They're for smaller projects, projects up to 25 million cost. It is challenging because a lot of the, the criteria are for sustainable transport, uh, you know, many of the things done by the public sector, but the banks finance also the private sector. So what we're looking at also is how we can do this uh, energy efficiency, for example, not just in commercial buildings, but also in the, we call it the tourism uh, sector, which could be hotels, can be restaurants, and also in housing. The bank has financed housing for many years, but mostly the financing has been through to public housing, through banks, or through regions. So there's some pro interesting projects done. We also had an interesting project, which was the first targeting the private sector. It was in France uh, in 2015 uh, for energy efficiencies and investments by private housing. This was to basically special purpose vehicles around France, and it was combined with the, the objectives of the French government to finance at least 500,000 homes per year. On energy efficiency, energy efficiency represents about 3 billion of the 73 billion we lend each year. And of that, 75% is in buildings. I think that's an, interest, an interesting thing. It's something that we're already doing. What are the barriers to developing this, or to delivering this energy efficiency. Many of them have been said before. A lot of it is the fragmentation of the projects. Also, it's the capacity of the, the beneficiaries, that the, the, the householders, or even the housing, the housing corporations, to define and manage the project. So that's why one of the aspects that is important is technical assistance and the correct technical de definition of what these projects are. We lend, as I said, through commercial banks to the smaller projects, but we also lend directly to larger projects. And one of the uh, uh, European was it, mechanisms or uh, initiatives which is also helping us increase our lending is the Juncker Plan, FC. We have lent to one project, an interesting project in Helsinki, under Juncker plan, which we call it SATO, and it's a combination of new build, zero energy buildings, and very deep refurbishment of existing buildings. Um, technical advice is also possible from, from the European Investment Bank under our normal activities and also under the, the Juncker plan. Uh, can I, Margarita, I mean, uh, we see also, in order to, make the, to put the mechanism in place, I mean, uh, we understand that the EIB is uh, already intervening, is intervening. The munitions are there. 